Hey, this is Jack from Alpha Charts with a the long view video. These are monthly charts. Today is 7-31-2023. We are month is closed now. So um here we go. Before we get started, this video is for informational purposes only. These are not recommendations to buy, sell, or hold any stock or security. I may hold positions to some of the equities mentioned. Know your time frame and risk tolerance. We will be using Deep View for our charts today. If you're interested in Deep View, go to deepview.com for that. Um, and one more uh, piece of information, uh, you can find me on Twitter at AlphaCharts365. That's at AlphaCharts365. Um, I post things there all the time about markets and sometimes just fun stuff, sometimes health stuff, but mostly about markets 99% of the time. Um, you know, I do have a subscription, which is 100% about trading on a swing uh, trader's time frame. Um, if you're interested in that, it's very easy to sign up. I've had some great feedback um for that subscriber group so um if you're interested again just go to at alpha charts 365 click on the profile and then click subscribe super easy to do and i appreciate i think uh, it's a great value let me do the work for you it's 10 bucks a month super cheap less than a, uh, a fast food meal right so let's get into charts all right starting with the dow again these are monthly charts the blue line is the 10 month moving average, okay? So 10 month moving average. Um, and here's the Dow Jones. Again, looks good, right? We had a nice consolidation point. And now this month we had a break above, you know, I think pretty good clear sailings until maybe, you know, something like this, right? We'll finish its base and then we'll see what happens there. That looks real good. I'm gonna jump around a little bit and go to the SPY next. So SPY is at maybe an inflection point here, but still a very nice and strong month. It may have a little bit more upside to finish off that little cup area. And then we can see what kind of happens. But again, nothing bearish about SPY right now on the monthly. Let's go to the Qs next. Um, here are the Qs. Again, strong, strong look on the Qs. Again, this is probably the next area, not too far away, right? So there may be, you know, maybe a little bit more upside at 400-ish level. That is looking like that may be the next, you know, big area. And then, you know, we'll kind of see what is going on there. Um, and let's look at IWM. So IWM by far looks the weakest on the monthly, um, you know, this 200 level. That is what it's bumping up right at, basically, on the monthly. And if it can get above it, this would be a super, super strong chart, right? We had nice big two-month um, uh, bars up and uh, green bars, but it's still in a larger consolidation. You know, not doing anything wrong, though. I'd like to see, you know, obviously next month, either an inside month or an up month. But... This looks, you know, again, more like a bottom than a top at this point, but we don't know that until we actually get the breakout or or the breakdown. Right now, it's just in the consolidation. Uh, so it's IWM, again, looking uh, the weakest of the bunch. Let's look at the mid caps, I got MDY on here. Um, a little bit stronger, right near all-time highs. You know, this is, again, another potential inflection point. We could kind of pull this all the way across. You can see how... You know, this was like kind of like a whoops breakout right here, right? And then it kind of came back in. So now 500, right? Above 500, we're good. Very similar to the IWM where we have this, you know, round 100 type number, right? And and so I think those are two equal weighted indexes that need to get above their areas for the market to move higher in general, right? Um that is, let's go bonds next. I know I'm jumping around a little bit on here, but I like to do that. Bonds continue to break down, which signal potentially interest rates continuing higher, right? So that's something that's interesting right there. Bonds breaking down, definitely not the place you want to be. Um, here we go. XOY, starting there. Nice little kind of bottom up 2.33 on the month. By the way, the SPY, just for comparison, was up 3.28. And the Qs 
were up 3.91. So, you know, uh, 3.2 to 3.9. So when we go through these, we see what was stronger, what wasn't. So you see this uh, consumer discretionary, not quite as strong. XLF, nice look to this kind of, you know, you do have a lower high potential here, but it, it's making its way around. So we'll see what happens at this point. Um, I would like to see this at a higher high, but financials are at least participating and outperform the SPY. Communications, which is basically right, it's basically Google and Meta, um, very, very strong, has been strong the entire year. You, know, you see uh, November, December, here's January, right? And green every month, but there's just this one. And it was up 5.7. Staples in a range, not really doing anything, kind of dead money for, you know, since, you know, 2021, right? all of 2022, and now most of 2023. So, um, and again, only up 2.14. Energy, going back to monthly, now this is a big chart. This is from 2008. It kind of broke out here in 14 and then came right back in as whoops and really fell apart. And now we're back to the scene of the crime. It hasn't broken out yet, but it is looking good. And if it could break out, that'd be, you know, that 100-ish level, getting above that would be very significant. Materials. Again, dead money. No reason to be involved in materials. Kind of setting up though, right? But nothing to look at really. Real estate in a downtrend. Industrials breaking out to all-time highs. Up 2.94 on the month. And again, all-time highs. That's the first time I think we've said that in this. Um, I think it's the first time we said that. So that is a big deal, Right. So um, industrials is a place that we would want to maybe look for some ideas, right? Because if they're going to all-time highs, um, that's pretty good. Healthcare has been dead money for over a year. Utilities in a downtrend. And then there was technology. Technology is the other one that is basically, it is at all-time highs, closed monthly all-time highs. Nothing to, you know, wrong with this at all um it was and is very very strong months and months and months might need a little rest here this may be a spot where we find some some sellers showing up you know no guarantees on that but um but i could definitely see this you know a couple months of a drift lower maybe to like 163 you know so low volume uh over the month right month couple months and then let these moving averages catch up and then it could, could move higher but right now, industrials and, and technology by far look like the strongest charts out there, right? And we'll look at SMH too, real fast. Um, here's SMH, and again, very similar to that technology chart, right? Uh, just quite making monthly all-time highs, but trying to break out, maybe getting a little extended from itself, right? And it might need to take a little rest here. We'll see next month. But... um. But again, technology, semiconductors looking really, really good. Let's go into the 18 mega cap stocks now. Um, but overall, let's make uh, of the all the charts we looked at. I mean, the market's looking resilient and healthy on the monthly chart. So any pullback or vacillation or or, or, or um, consolidation uh, is in the context of uptrend. There's, there's no pending um crash that is you know it's not a downtrend we say that if there is some sort of unknown event out there you know black swan or whatever we want to call it you know that's unknown to us and the market is definitely they're not pricing in anything like that right now um that's from an index perspective and so jp morgan um jp morgan super strong 8.66 on the month um if you're gonna be in a banking stock this is probably the one to be in Johnson Johnson looks like dead money. Um, so right now, financials looking good. Meta, pff, I mean, we said in communications, it was Meta and Google, right? And Meta, you can see, has been just a beast. Went from 87 to 318 this year. Absolute beast. Google, you know, had this little nice bottom right over here. Bounced right back. Looks really good. Walmart. So Walmart is breaking into all-time highs. 
First time we've said that in on this section, right? That's definitely one to watch. Um, you know, what does that mean? I mean, it could have some bigger implications in the market potentially. Uh, but overall, you know, as a consumer, you know, pairing back and going and buying more Walmart stuff, right? That that's a possibility. Um, or is it that they're doing fine and they're spending their money at Walmart, right? Go either way. Um, but a breakout to all-time high is pretty good. XOM, again, another big chart, looks very similar to the XLE chart, but there's a difference. This one broke out, came back, retested, and it was flat on the month, but looks, you know, this retest hold, we'll call it 100, 100 level holds, which it has now multiple times. Um, that's very bullish for energy and probably inflationary in general, which means higher interest rates are maybe on the way. Again, I don't want to get too far in the weeds with that, but not, I mean, I like how it's holding XOM the 100 level. That's very, very important. NVIDIA. We saw the chips were just breaking out to all-time highs. NVIDIA is the leader of that group. Very, very strong. Um, you see there's no stop since you know October 2022, and it's gone literally straight up. Again, at some point, there needs to be a comeback and a pull, you know, some sort of pullback or, you know, retest. Maybe it's to 380. Maybe it's lower to 350. I don't know. But eventually, NVIDIA doesn't go forever, right? Uh, if you're in it, congrats, though. Uh, ride ride the trend as long as it will take you. Um, Broadcom, another good one. Looks like it's moving to all-time highs. Nothing to see there. You know, nothing bad to see there. Visa. Visa yet to break out to all time highs, so that's um that's really good. I, I'm not really good. I, I, I'm surprised to see that. Is that do they is something going on with Visa like with the consumer? You know, again, I don't want to read too much into it. Um, if it breaks out, then it's no big deal. But they're trying to get there. Hasn't quite gotten there yet. Earnings coming up. Um, I don't want to make too much of that. Right, Apple all-time highs, right? So we have a few of them, you know, Walmart, all-time highs, Apple, all-time highs, you know, uh, those are, you know, really, really important stocks in the market. Now, the difference is Microsoft tried to get there and got pushed back. That's interesting right there. So I think we need to be aware that, you know, listen, it tried once on the monthly and it was down on the month where Apple was actually up 1.38%. Still not nearly as much as the S&P, right? So that's the rotation that may be taking place out of some of these names that went from, you know, 220, almost doubled this in the first half of the year. Um, something to think about, right? Berkshire Hathaway, trains and, and banks and insurance, right? That's what they do. And ketchup. Looks really, really good. Um, trying to get to that all-time high as well. We have Amazon. Again, you kind of see the beautiful thing about monthly charts is you get to see the structure of what's really going on with this. Uh, Amazon's been super strong, but not where near all time highs. And you're going to find some potential sellers once you get up to this area, right? That's a lot of, of consolidation right there. Um, but we're not quite there yet. Moving on to United Healthcare, it's been dead money for months and months and months. Tesla. Um, was up a little bit on the month, which is nice to see. Flat moving average. Uh, so it went, you know, went from 103 to 300, right? It tripled. So, and that's this year it tripled. It, these stocks eventually need a break, right? So don't be surprised if you get a month or two of sideways or, or a little bit of pullback, right? That's completely normal. Think about where it came from and where, you know, where it's been and where it's going. Lily. Just absolute beast. I should have stayed with what this one uh, when I was in it a few months ago, but just absolute beast. Here's MasterCard trying to break out again, but just like Visa, hasn't been able to do it quite yet. And then last one is Taiwan Semiconductors. Um, you know, it was actually down on the month. And you see the difference between what this chart looks like and what NVIDIA looks like. Completely different. There's no reason to be in Taiwan Semiconductors. You know, say with the leaders. Um, let's just look at AMD real fast since I'm in here. You know, I get AMD, not, you know, someplace in between those two, right? 
Uh, so again, just a little consolidation area and, and even just about for the month. So there you go. Uh, those are the monthly charts I want to present to you. There was, you know, what I do almost, almost 40, 39 charts or so. Again, it's about structure, right? This is about what's going on. My impression of all this are things are looking okay, right? They're not, they're not, they're not, they actually may be a little too good and we may need a month or two of, of some quiet time, um, some consolidation, maybe some rotation. And then, you know, maybe October, November, we get to pick up again. Again, seasonality plays a role in that as well. And really just a phenomenal first half of the year, right? That things don't go straight up in healthy markets. And so it may be time for just for a little breather, but again, nothing that would make me concerned that things are, are, are not doing well in the market. Okay. Thank you all very much for watching. Again, like and subscribe to my YouTube channel. If you're interested in my subscriber um, platform, go ahead, click on my name at Alpha Church 365, click on subscribe, and you're in. All right, y'all have a great day. Bye.